Hi, I'm Chris and I thought I would show you a little video on how to install the, an invisible zipper on my A-line skirt pattern. So the things we're going to need is a skirt front and a skirt back and with the raw edges already finished in your choice you can do a zigzag or an overcast stitch. Here I've surged the side seams of the front and back skirt. I've got my notches marked for the side for where the zip is going to go to. I've got my centre fronts notched. So both my front and back skirt pieces are ready. Also have an invisible zipper. You can use any length. Here I've got a ladies um, invisible zipper. So I'm not quite sure of the length of this one. It's just one I had in my stash. We'll be um, cutting it off later and adding in our own stopper for where we want it to stop. So an invisible zipper has the pull tab on the front of the zip and the teeth are actually on the back of the zipper. So the only thing you see on the side of the skirt once the skirt's finished will be the little pull tab at the top of the zipper. The other thing that we will need is of course an invisible zipper foot. If you don't have an invisible zipper foot, I'll also show you as well in the pattern how to install an invisible zipper with a regular zipper foot. So this is your little regular zipper foot. So you've got the little area on each side so that you can adjust your needle for whichever side you're sewing on. The invisible zipper foot makes it much easier to install an invisible zipper. It's got little channels on the back not sure if you can see that and the little zipper teeth will go down either side of the channel depending on which side of the seam we're sewing at the time. So what else is there? I've also got just a little scrap of fabric that I like to use to feed through prior to sewing the stitches on my zipper. You'll see as we're sewing along how I like to use that. Um, I use those quite often saves the threads getting bunched up or jammed or the zipper getting stuck so I can use that as a little pull to guide that through. So they're the key things that we're going to need to sew our A-line skirt. So now it's time to install our invisible zipper. So the first thing we need to do is have the right sides facing up of our two skirt pieces. One's the front, one's the back and the zipper is also facing up the right way as well. So the zipper pull is facing us and the zipper teeth are facing down on the, the bed of the sewing machine. So to get started we'll open up our zipper just a little bit. So our teeth are lying down next to the edges of, next to the finished raw edges of the skirt. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get one of the zipper tapes and we're going to roll it over so that the teeth are facing away from the raw edge of the skirt and the zipper tape is facing the finished edge of the skirt. We're going to line up the top of the zipper tape to the top edge of the skirt. So again there, the teeth are facing away from the skirt and the finished edge of the zipper tape is facing the raw edge. Here you can see my zipper pull is still facing up and the teeth are still facing down on the sewing machine bed. So I'll just do that again for you just so you can see. So here's our zipper. The zipper pulls facing us. Open up the top of the zipper so that our two sides are free. The side the one on the left here is going to get attached to the skirt panel here on the left. The one on the right is going to get attached to the skirt panel on the right. Everything's facing up the right way. What we're going to do is this zipper tape is we're going to roll it over, flip it over, so that now the right side of the zipper tape is facing the right side of the skirt and the teeth are facing away from the finished edge of the skirt and we're just going to line it up to the top of the skirt 
waistband and line up this edge with the finished edge of the skirt. So we'll just pin that in place just to get us started. So that's perfectly lined up. So now right side of the skirt, skirt is facing the right side of the zipper with the teeth facing out. What we're going to do next is we're going to do the same thing with the opposite side. So again, skirt is facing up the right way, the zipper is facing up the right way. We're now going to flip the tape over so that the teeth are facing out away from the finished edge of the skirt. We're going to line it up to the top edge of the skirt with the teeth facing out away from the finished edge of the skirt and we'll pin that one in place. Lining up the edges of the tape and the skirt. I've included a half inch seam allowance on the skirt so that to make it easier for you to line up the zipper tape to the finished edge of the skirt so the seam allowance matches the zipper perfectly. So here now you can see the zipper's pinned to the top of the skirt matching at the top of the waistband on both sides so they line up and match perfectly. We'll just place another pin just to secure that tape in place. You don't necessarily have to pin it in place but to start with if you're new to sewing zippers or sewing at all it's probably a good idea to put a pin in place just so that everything is nice nice and neat and your edges of your zipper are lining up with the edge of your skirt. Place a pin in this one. I find it's easier for pinning the zipper to the skirt to lay your pins up against the, going the same direction as the skirt, but in the, with the pin head towards you and the needle this way, because this is the way we're going to be sewing, and we can pull our pins out as we're going along. So here now you can see the zipper teeth are facing away from the center of the skirt but the zipper pull is still facing up the right way. I'll give you a bit of an idea once this is sewn how it'll look. So if I was to pull this zipper pull up now you can see then how this is going to close up and it's going to pull the fabric through. So there will be our zipper pull tab on the right side of the skirt and this fabric will fold over and our zipper will be concealed within that fabric. So I'll just pull that apart again, grab this little pull, open up, open these back out again. So we know now everything's going to fall into place the way it should do and our zipper's going to close up the right way little channels so that's the foot that I'll be using first the invisible zipper foot so I'll just change my foot over on my machine move my remove my regular zipper foot and install my visible zipper foot so to start with I like to use as I was saying earlier just a little piece of scrap fabric that I use as a feeder so I'm going to put that under my machine I'm just using a regular zipper, um, sorry zipper, got zipper on the brain, a regular stitch length on my machine and my needle is positioned in the centre of my foot. So I'll just sew a few stitches and get that started, lift up my needle and just pull that through to the back so it's out of the way. So now we're ready to actually start sewing and installing our invisible zipper. So to start off with I'll just put my needle down so that's now secured the zipper tape to my skirt fabric. Grabbing hold of my little feeder here at the back, can you see it there? 
and I'm just going to slowly sew a few stitches to get things started. Okay, that's going through nicely. I'll reverse just to lock my stitches, just a couple of stitches backwards. I'll remove that pin now that I know that my zipper tape is securely in place. I'll still use my little little helping hand here at the back just to gently guide that through. So as you're stitching, just be sure that the edge of your zipper tape lines up with the edge of the fabric of your skirt. And all we're going to do now is stitch along and sew our zipper in. We're going there just slowly just to make sure that everything gets started off. And we're right. So now we just keep sewing. As we get down to our pin, I can just remove that pin just to make sure everything stays nice and flat. Just keeping that zipper tape lined up still with the edge of the fabric. You'll be able to see that your invisible zipper foot is slowly guiding these zipper teeth open as it's sewing along. So just let your zipper foot do the work for you. Your main aim is just to keep that zipper straight and in place. Once I get down to the notch that's marked on the skirt, here I've put a pin in here so that you can clearly see the notch. And it acts like a little reminder for me too because the notch is sitting under my zipper. I could have put a little marker on top of my zipper which also would have guided me. But I just used the pin. Once I get to that spot, I'm just going to take that pin out. And I'm just going to reverse just to do a couple of stitches to lock those stitches in place. Cut your threads. Take your zipper out. Yep. So now our little zipper is in. And if I open up those coils, you can probably see my stitching that's right up close to those zipper teeth. If the moment when my zipper's flat, the stitches are hidden. But if I just pull those zipper teeth and open them up a little bit there, roll them back, you can clearly see the stitching running along beside the teeth there. So that's our first side done. I'll just trim off my little helping hand here. Now if we just want to test to make sure that everything's going okay now, we can close up our zipper just watch because you've got a couple of pins in there and see that our fabric is sitting really nice and hiding those zipper teeth on that side. I'll turn it over so you can see the other side. This is the side that's been sewn and those stitches are sitting in under there. You can't even see them. You have to pull the teeth, roll the teeth back to see those stitches tucked away in there. So that's our zipper from the wrong side. Turn it back over. And that's our zipper sewn on the right side. And so get our zipper ready. So that's the one that we just did. That's the little teeth that are sitting out the side. And there's the, the back side of that. And we're going to do this side now. So again, I'll put my little helping hand in underneath, get my stitches started, just pull them back a bit, lining up my zipper to the edge of my waistband. This time we're going to be putting the zipper teeth, the coil, under the channel of the zipper foot on the right side. So for the right side of the zipper, we're going to put it under the channel of the right side of the zipper foot. Put it underneath there, line it up inside that channel. So a couple of stitches. Use my guide, my little helping hand. Do a couple of reverse stitches. 
just to lock that in place. Take out my pin. Just keeping that zipper tape lined up to the to the edge of my skirt. Use my helping hand just to make sure that zipper feeds through nice and smoothly because it can get stuck a little bit at the very beginning of the zipper. And there we go, we're on our way. So just keep sewing down, let the zipper foot do the work. Take your pin out as you're going along. Just keeping the edge of the zipper tape lined up with the edge of the skirt. So right down till we get to that notch, which is where my pin is. As I get to there, I'll take my pin out. And I'll do a couple of back stitches just to secure that in place. Trim your threads, take your zipper out. Just trim off my little helping hand here. Now we've done that side there. If I close my zipper up, you can see it works beautifully. And here you can just see if I really pull, I've got to really pull that fabric apart. And then I can just see the teeth sitting inside there. And all I can see then there, there's my little zipper pull on the top. This here's our seam allowance, which will get sewn into the skirt waist facing or the waistband, whatever we decide to do. All we've got to do now is close up the bottom, which some people find this part here a little bit tricky to sew. So what we'll do is we'll get working on that next. Is we're going to pull this zipper out of the road so that we don't sew it in to our seam and we'll be sewing down there so I'll just pin along here I'll pin the bottom of the seam for the skirt and I'll actually place a pin up here make it a little easier now so that's ready that seam is ready. I'll just keep everything nice and flat and smooth for you so you can see as we're going along. The seam is pinned in place. We'll be stitching just from here down to the bottom of that seam. This part of my zipper is free to flap around. We'll be trimming off this excess later and putting in a new zipper stop. So what we need to do now is change the foot on our sewing machine over to the regular zipper foot that I've got here for my Jeromi. Put that one on. Once we have that into place, just get that seam. Move all the seam allowances, the zipper and everything all out of the road. So the only thing we're sewing on is these two layers of fabric and we're going to be sewing just before the start of that seam and a couple of millimeters away from that seam towards this side. So we'll be sewing not inside the seam allowance but on this side and just a couple of millimeters away. So I'll line that up under my zipper foot. Get my zipper foot into position. Keep this all nice and flat. Move up my foot as close as I can to the edge of that seam, keeping everything out of the way so my seam allowances are out of the way, my zipper foot's out of the road. I'm going to move my needle over here to the right as far as it will go so it's as close to that seam that we've just sewn so it's as close as I can get it to that seam. So just moving my needle over Okay, my needle now is positioned as close as I can go to that seam, so I won't be sewing on top of that seam, but I will be sewing close to that seam, so just a couple of millimetres away. Zipper tape's out of the road, everything's nice and smooth and flat underneath there. I'll just lower my needle down 
into my fabric get it started do a couple of stitches a couple of stitches backwards just to lock and secure those stitches in place and then I'm just going to continue sewing a half inch seam allowance down to the bottom hemline of the skirt keeping my zipper tape out of the road move my pins as I go and just continue sewing down just lock those stitches in place at the end cut my threads and our zipper is now installed so here you can see where I've stitched pretty close to that row of stitches there and I've stitched just above where those stitches started. So I'll bring that in a little closer so you can see. Hopefully you can see that. I may have been able to get a little bit closer but we'll see how it looks from the other side. So if I turn my skirt over my seams closed and when I lay that down looking pretty good if I pull my fabric apart you can just see that this row of stitches down the bottom here is a little further away than that so we'll give that a press and then I'll come back and show you a look actually I'll show you what I'm going to be pressing on the wrong side here I'm going to lift up my zipper and I'm going to press this seam open and flat and then when I turn to this side I will roll it over and I'll give it a little press along here and a gentle little press along the top edge as well okay back again I've just pressed the seam down the bottom of the skirt and I've given it a gentle press up the top so there you can see our seam for the skirt. I'm just trying to show you there. You can't see the zipper. You can because I've used a contrasting thread. Just see the couple of little stitches. You really have to look through there. If I'd used a matching thread, I wouldn't even see those. But it's hardly visible. Now, let's see how our zipper works. Pull down the zip. Open it up and we've got a nice neatly installed invisible zipper on our doll skirt. So that was pretty easy for that part. What we need to do next is shorten our zipper. I like to leave my tail a little, with a bit of length on there, maybe an inch. So all we need to do is cut off the bottom of our zipper. I'm going to use pinking shears for mine. Zigzag stitches just across the teeth here of the zipper. I'll show you from this side. So what we're going to do is just go over these teeth here so that our zipper won't can't be pulled all the way undone and won't come apart on us. So to do that, I'll just change back to my regular sewing foot. Set my machine to a zigzag stitch. Place the zipper underneath, lining it up in the center of the foot. Just make your zigzag stitch wide enough that it's gonna go over the top of the teeth, like on either side of the teeth on the zipper and set your stitch length to zero that way then the stitches will just sew over the top of each other and won't move along so lower your needle down and just a few stitches there cut those threads and now we've got a new little zipper stop installed trim off any threads hanging off just to keep everything neat it's always a good idea to clip your threads as you're sewing 
this keeps your work nice and neat. So again there, there's our zipper from the front, nicely installed. And then from the back, there's our little zipper with its new little stop. Of course, there you'd be using a coordinating thread, whereas I've used a contrasting thread to help it make it easier for you to see what I was doing. So now all we need to do is continue sewing on our skirt, um, just like the rest of the instructions do. So I hope you found that video helpful and let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do more tutorials on, and if there's anything in particular you'd like me to do a tutorial on. Okay, bye for now. Thanks for watching and thanks for buying my patterns and supporting an indie designer like me. Bye.